Okay, continuing on with these uh, executive orders that uh, I am going to uh, have ready to go so that uh, things will take off the first day. And I, I had, we had uh, discussed uh, maximum funds for education. We had discussed uh, uh, a lot of different proposals for the inner cities, and there'll be a whole lot more. And this is going to be a regular thing. I mean, once I uh, get in the presidency, I will uh, be on here uh, uh, every time I make an executive order, I'm going to make a, make videos and all that can be put on uh, YouTube explaining uh, uh, what that executive order is about. And, and uh, uh, during the time when I am in the White House, I'm going to be uh, continuing right here on on YouTube, and I'll be uh, uh, all everything will be uh, be documented by videos, and uh, I will just t keep a close communication with everybody by means of uh, speaking to you, uh, sort of like uh, FDR did with the Fireside Chats, except I'll be speaking. Uh, of course, there'll be the live speeches, which the TV will cover, but the ones that they don't cover, which will just be a, a like a daily 15-minute video or a daily 30-minute video, uh, I'll try to make sure something every day, even if it's only five or six minutes, I'll come on and just touch bases with everybody and give a little power chat by chat and list the uh, the executive orders which I'm going to make so that they don't just come down on people's heads the way Obama did. But I'm so thankful for Obama uh, for making that, giving us that precedence uh, that we can just uh, go in our Oval Office and just write out these executive orders. And uh, as I say, jokingly, uh, he didn't have to worry about the Congress or the or uh, talking to the country or the people or anything. He just went in there and made the executive orders. And so uh, we'll use that to the maximum. And uh, but I'll use it productively and constructively, and I'll use it for the good for the good of the country. And my uh, every executive order I make will be fully explained, and and people will know exactly what I'm doing. And they'll and I, in fact, I think I'll just have a video going when I'm making. While I'm uh, uh, signing the thing each time, and uh, and then they'll be displayed what the number is and everything, and then and then of course on the, that way on the video you can make comments about what you think about that particular e executive order, and uh, <clears throat> fortunately or, or unfortunately for you, I'll probably have all of them up on here before I even make it to the uh, to the White House. They'll probably all the all the ones I'm planning on on. Uh, on implementing will already be up on here and so you'll have a chance to discuss them before i even uh because then i ain't telling when i'm gonna win the lottery and be able to pay for uh, uh some tv time so that i can can run anyway and uh i'm still making that decision anyway because um after all we've got a lot of good people running and and uh, uh they want to get their chance and so uh I think our future is going to go well. You know, we always tend to, in the final analysis, elect the uh, uh, the person that is right for the time. And uh, and I, I just feel very good in my bones about the future of the country. Uh, uh, people around the world are raising their consciousness, and uh, and we've got we've got people just raising their consciousness like crazy in the country. And we don't, you know, what goes on. Uh, uh, in front of the media and what goes uh, on in Congress and, and the White House and all is not uh, not anything like the the extent of all the good that is going on. It's not anything like the extent to which uh, people are working on improving the country uh, behind the scenes and and uh, all the people that are raising their consciousness to make this a better country and a better world. It's just we're doing this by the millions of people raising their their consciousness and they've got their minds on uh, the president's. Uh, uh, situation and the Congress situation and on the uh, the future of the country uh, 24 7 uh, some people are are, are, are uh, around the clock uh, uh, praying and thinking and meditating about the peace of, of the world and the peace of the country and keeping us out of wars and all these kinds of things that are going on so we're in good we're gonna be in good shape but uh, I uh, if I ever get there I'm gonna make some very good uh, executive orders uh, and uh, it, we were uh, so we were up here to group number uh, eight about the immigration, and I'm going to make uh, uh, plenty of uh, executive orders about that, and that will uh, leave uh, a uh, legacy and a and a precedent for our future presidents that they will know uh, exactly uh, that they will continue to. Uh, follow uh, the procedures which I've set aside, which will be meeting with uh, all the mayors of all of the uh, 
uh, Mexican cities as well as the uh, mayors uh, uh, of the uh, cities along the border and and just keeping close contact. I mean, we're going to I'm going to set a precedent of just keeping close contact with all of the uh, uh, leaders of Mexico and uh, especially the Mexican president. And and we're going to try to do everything we can to we all there's a, there's always a lot of talk about how we, they're our biggest trading partner. But there's not a lot of talk about how we're going to need to we need to uh, make sure that um uh, Everything uh, is uh, improved as far as the economy in, in Mexico. Uh, that we do everything we can to improve the economy in every way, and uh, you know, it it only makes sense that if there's going to be a lot of industry there, and that we're uh, sending a lot of our industries over into Mexico, uh, that that should be providing jobs, and and we're going to have to make sure that that is providing jobs. And we're going to have to make sure that the right industries are in the right cities and that jobs are being provided and that the incentives are there and the pay is there and all of that. And we're going to have to work with all of the uh, the Mexican leaders to get all of that achieved. And as I say, I speak Spanish. And so that's going to uh, and it's not just the speaking of Spanish, but the understanding of the culture and the friendships with the people of Mexico and all these other kind of things, which I have always uh uh, cultivated and so uh, that's going to help with that situation and as I say I've got that situation uh, fully uh, uh, in hand and uh, it's going to be continued and and uh, the executive orders will be written uh, as to what we're going to do to uh, stop the uh, uh, the wrong kind of immigration and encourage the right kind of immigration and uh, encourage people in every way encourage people to uh, to uh, become educated in Mexico uh, to uh, become educated in the Mexican universities as well as those which will come and be educated in American universities. But then I, uh, group uh, number nine, see that was group number eight. I had group number six, uh, maximum funds education, group number seven, uh, maximum attention to uh, the inner cities and how to get people to relocate uh, uh, that uh, so that we, the, the areas that are overcrowded will be relieved and people will be moving out more into uh, uh, the uh, less uh, uh, densely populated areas and uh, people will be motivated to uh, get out where they can really get a good education and where they can really uh, uh, provide get good jobs and so forth and, um, and then um, Number eight, immigration. And then number nine was the, uh, I'm going to have uh, additional incentives beyond what we already have. I know we have some very good incentives right now for our special elite forces, but I have a special uh, um, uh, a special love for our elite forces and, and a special interest in them. And I, wanna, I wanted to do something to really uh, up their pay uh, of the Marines and the Rangers and the Special Forces and the Navy SEALs and those that really do do the tough job, those that really do put their life at risk. I want to be able to up that and, and provide all of the training that they need and all the opportunities they need and all the college, edu college education, university education that they need and and uh, do everything I can to be make it more uh, a, 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 even more professional than it, than it already is, and and uh, just encourage them in every way. Uh, so we're going to write a lot of a uh, uh, good, a very good executive orders on that that will uh, be able to uh, go down in the in the uh, history books to uh, encourage uh, future presidents to to know how to uh, to really uh, take care of our. Uh, our military and especially our elite special forces. But since we're going to be, of course, trying to go more and more to the use of special forces to uh, speed up the uh, accomplishment of the mission so that we don't have to just uh, stay over there in, in the areas like that where, uh, where our soldiers are in danger. We don't just have to we have to put them in harm's way and just keep them there, keep them there, you know, year after year. We want, we're want we going to go more and more to advanced weapons and more and more to a uh, to a more and more advanced training for special forces and elite forces and be able to get in and get out. And uh, uh, it'll go all work together with the advanced weapon. The more we advanced weapons you got, the more uh, you can work with the special forces to get the thing accomplished quicker. And... Uh, and so all that's going to work out real good, and that's going to be fully covered in executive orders. And as I say, I'll be on here explaining every order that, that I make, and you'll probably have every one of them before I even uh, uh, ever even get there uh, to, to begin to implement it. Uh, so, uh, And then uh, the group number 10, 
is um, another very, very special interest of mine is uh, universities. I mean, that's why I, I call myself the EP, and I have for years, and people know me by that, that uh, I'm, uh, it, it stands for uh, like two things. One, uh, uh, educated, uh, you could call it educated person, but it also mainly in the back of my mind always was uh, uh, was uh, education president. And uh, I was inspired by President Bush, and he had some mention of it, but didn't really carry through near to the extent to which I will. I'm going to be the EP. I'm going to be the uh, education president like none other. And that's going to be uh, just a, uh, that's going to be just a very intense, uh, great area of attention, which just will not quit. You know, in other words, I'm just going to just... Uh, uh, focus on that just continually every day. I'm gonna do something about that every single day that I'm in office, and uh, uh, we're going to uh, uh, encourage every one of the university presidents. And if it is a, a public university, well, I can write an executive order <laughs> about the funding. You know, you know how I can use that funding to make sure that they attend a, a meeting with me once a year. I'm sure all of them will, would want to spend time with the POTUS anyway, but with the president. But uh, we're going to have meetings with them at least once a year with all of the, the university presidents. And we're going to discuss all this stuff of how we're going to really uh, increase the competitiveness of the education uh, so that uh, in the areas of math and science and all that, we, we get ourselves way out ahead of all the other uh, uh, nations uh, and countries in the world. And uh, we are... Uh, we uh, provide every incentive and opportunity for young people to go into uh, engineering and into uh, the sciences and, and all of these things, which will <clears throat> increase the uh, effectiveness, the security and and the efficiency of our country to develop uh, all types of uh, new uh, things for the medical field and new things for, uh, for uh, advancement of uh, weapon systems, which will help protect the country, uh, anti-missile uh, you know, systems and anti-bomb systems and all of these kinds of things. And uh, so, and then number 11 is going to be uh, that I'm going to write a whole bunch of executive uh, orders about uh, explosive detection. You know, we're, uh, we're going to do away with all this uh, 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 people just being able to come over and explode a bomb, you know, and, and we and I realize, you know, see, I, because I'm not there as president now, I realize it, and I don't have that very top secret uh, clearance that there are things being done about this, which, uh, you know, I'm not privy to at this, at this point. We are, they are already, but I realize that because of just the fact that I uh, think about all this all the time and have for years and, and have a good mind and, and, uh, and have a, a good intuition and all, I realize that they have developed things already. Uh, that is uh, helping to uh, uh, stop the, uh, it, to helping increase the detection of all these uh, uh, explosive uh, uh, devices. But I'm going to uh, increase that just many, many times. I mean, we're going to put funding. I'm, I'm going to write orders to put funding into advanced, uh, into research, into going, uh, uh, the re research in our universities and researches and, you know, behind the scenes uh, uh, for uh, better and better detection devices, which will detect every type of explosive device that could possibly be made, every type of chemical, everything through uh, uh, spectrometry and every other uh, chemical device. Uh, uh, we're going to uh, detect uh, uh, these things before they even go off. And and so that's going to be a major area of emphasis uh, anyway. I can't go into every detail about what I'm going to do on that. Some of it would even be secret anyway. But um, we're going to do that. We're going to we, we can just know that we're going to be safe from explosions in the future, and, uh, as we have already begun uh, doing some of that now. And then um, we're going to, I'm going to uh, be uh, the number one president ever for going through the CIA and, uh, and the NSC and just going through that with a fine tooth comb and, and uh, just uh, writing out an entire uh, morphology of that for my uh, benefit of the the, uh, uh, the staff uh, the staff that works with me. Uh, uh, the close advisors and all, we're, we're going to know uh, what's going on there at all times, and we're going to maintain close connection with them, and, and uh, it's going to be just like I was there uh, at the CIA and the NSC myself 24-7. Uh, uh, it's going to be that good. I'm going to know every detail, and then we're going to go through uh, all of the intelligence agencies, and, and we're going to uh, write uh, uh, executive orders that, that, that better and better handbooks uh, will be written, and uh, more uh, uh, area handbooks, 
and uh, things about all the UN agencies. And so now we'll have to continue to the, uh, the next uh, video.